You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Keith. The AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menounos and Bing.com and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's American Idol After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256. 256-1729. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's American Idol After Show. All right, Idol Ooh. Nation. It is hot in here, just like the show tonight. Welcome to After Buzz. Now, we all know that Bing is for doing, and what are we going to do? We're doing another after show for After Buzz TV. I'm JC, and this is American Idol. Season 11, episode 29. Joining me, as always, my main partner in crime. Hello. That's right, Mr. Mark <laughs> What's Allen. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What is up, man? We're getting down to seven people? Oh, yeah. It's getting down. It feels like Survivor man. right now. Yeah. <laughs> it is. But before we go any further, we got to say the set's a little prettier today mm -hmm. because we have a touch of a beautiful woman in our studio tonight, Miss <laughs> Christina Sayers. Ooh, what is hey, up? How, how are you? <laughs> Ooh, feeling the heat? Oh, yeah. get, get oh. the applause. The crowd goes wild. Oh, fantastic. Woo, 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 woo. And that applause brought to you. Oh. Oh, okay. And the crowd. <laughs> wow, you bring it tonight. Ronnie Jr. is in the back running the ones and twos, bringing the heat. What's up, Ron Ron? How you doing, buddy? Uh, good. What's up, you guys? Hey, uh, as always, we try to do a really good show here at After Buzz. We bring in Christina. We all love that. We have a lot to talk to with her about as a musician. We're excited. Uh, the only favor we want you to do back is uh, iTunes, rate, comment, um, show us love. You know, if you're buying your, your, your products online, go to the AfterBuzz website and go hit the new banner we have called Amazon.com up there. Make it happen. So, JC, we're taking care of you on a well-rounded wow. basis. What do you think of that, sir? Wow. We're like a plethora we do of it all. growth every week, Ronnie. Wow. <laughs> Between Dancing with the Stars and Maria and you guys on the American Idol After Show, Mark's performance last week, I could just say we get it done. Getting it done. And I'm really looking forward to hopefully we can get some Bing t-shirts in here. That'd be Ooh. awesome. Yeah. All right, we'll make that happen. You do a good show right now, and then we'll make that happen. <laughs> Definitely. And we have a show. But before we even get into tonight's show, we got to talk about last week. We have to. We weren't here for Thursday for the elimination where they eliminate, as in essence, they eliminated Jessica. They did. Uh, America. America. What were they thinking? She. What were you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> I, I was thinking this. She is so good, but I think people just didn't ha didn't vote for her because they thought, oh, okay, she's, she's on her way. She's going to make it through. She's amazing every week. And they voted for the people that they thought were, you know, needed it. Yeah, you know, we always talk about like our, um, our our social media countdown, which actually usually dictates who gets booted off and who who stays on. And right. it's been pretty accurate so far, except for last week. Last yeah. week, it totally got Jessica wrong. Yeah. So it's a fluke. So you think it's an anomaly of the yeah, system? Yeah. And I don't want. I, I I didn't think I was going to throw this in there, but but you. Are. I have to. Was it a setup? <laughs> was it a setup? I, I don't want to. I want to just believe in American Idol. But do you think they could do that? Martin. We don't see anything. Roasted. I think it was a setup. Just my own opinion. You know, I don't like it. It was all over Yahoo and everything. Yeah, I, I think it was definitely that. a setup. You I mean, guys are a bunch of cynics. No, it, like, it was. <laughs> Christina, back me up. What do you think? Remember, I said back me up. <laughs> <laughs> no, what do you? What do you, What did you think I about mean, it? I mean, honestly, Mark does have a point yeah. with like you know a lot of the fans are probably looking at her. I mean, the girls have got chops, and she's only what seventeen. Yeah, 16. Mm -hmm. 16. 16. So it's like she has this amazing voice. So I'm sure a lot of people thought, you know, that she was going to, you know, for sure be on her way, you know, top three for sure. You know what I mean? Or not even or even winning it. I find so, it interesting. You said chops. Chops. Yes. The, the reason she she knows she's using the terminology. She knows what she's <laughs> talking because she is a very well-known singer as well. That yes. may give us a little bit of her vocal stylings a little bit later in the show. Maybe. So. <laughs> oh, nah. Starting a little early. <laughs> so. So right. you guys saying it's a it, it was made up by Idol just to drum up ratings to drum up interest. I'm saying it didn't hurt. Okay, it's not, right. not gonna hurt. And in 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 increased her fan base. Yeah, and because sure. they did save her, 
they, you know, that's going to definitely help her out this week because people are like, oh, well, I got to vote for her this time. She is mm-hmm. that good because mm-hmm. now she has the backing of of Randy Simon or Simon, <laughs> Steven, <laughs> Randy <laughs> Stephen, and uh, yeah, and J Lo. But <laughs> she's, I don't know. I think I think she's going to be okay this week. So it's going to be a rebound effect, so it could propel her all the way to the very end. Yeah. And I did I did come across our little uh, Zaba search. Um, we have this countdown where we measure their likes, their their internet influence. Wow. And there was an impact after last week's decision. Of course. Mm-hmm. And we'll mm-hmm. definitely run that out a little bit later on the show. But yes, let's get let's get into the now. Let's talk about tonight. We yeah. had fourteen songs. Fourteen performance. Yes. Let's 15. get it overall. What did you guys think about tonight, guys, girls? Who? If you were vo- okay, guys or girls, who brought it tonight? I think um, Joshua definitely brought it tonight. Oh, he, you're, you're already getting way ahead. No, overall, we're going to ease into that. Boys or girls, who do you think was better? Oh, boys or girls. Yeah, so, so, so mm-hmm. we got a girl now. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> girls. Ooh. Okay. Hello. You know, <laughs> you know, you gotta rep- you know gotta I'm going to go there. But okay. no, for real, I, as far as overall, boys versus girls, mm-hmm. girls. I, okay. uh, I'm, yeah. I'm going to agree with that. I think oh. overall they did too because <laughs> the uh, and the crazy thing was Stephen was being kind of harsh for a while. It seemed like one after another with Colton and the ones that are usually the favorites and the underdogs kind of came back and brought it. The ones that needed to, they definitely came through. So you said Stephen was kind of harsh tonight. So you mean he was judging? Yes, which he usually doesn't. <laughs> he usually, he said, we usually have a game where whenever he says beautiful, we want to bring like some alcohol and just take right, a right. drink every time he says you know beautiful because then we wouldn't even make it to the show. Right, right, right. Because he says it for every, every single, single person. Right, 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 right. But yeah, he was a little. I liked it. I fi- they're finally judging. You know, yeah. J Lo is still kind of like deflecting, and Randy, mm-hmm. you know, who's in it to win it? And he still yeah. says that every <laughs> week. But but let's get started with. Uh, Holly, yeah. our first girl. Holly and Holly, she's she's doing Adele. Okay, and then yeah, I always say don't do, don't do that. Don't do it. Don't do it. She did it, and I thought it was her best performance. I mean, I think I said that even last week <laughs> that she had a great performance, but vocally it was it was the best thing she's done. I mean, it, she she finally looks comfortable up there because she got out of her head, as Jimmy was saying. She mm-hmm. had a lot of confidence. Um, and I feel like she definitely kind of is the underdog in the show. Like, mm-hmm. you know, she's definitely been kind of trying to come up. And so I feel like for her not being in the bottom three, like, it was just like, yes, mm-hmm. you know? And so her confidence, you, I saw right away when she started with Rolling in the Deep. Mm-hmm. I was like, wow, this is amazing. Really? So yeah. she caught you right off? Her confidence, yeah, mm-hmm. for sure. I'm so glad that you guys are on that side. <laughs> uh-huh. You're not because, feeling that? No, th- tonight it's going to be different. You guys are <laughs> like so happy. Cheer- no, you know what? I, I th- no, no it's, Okay, Holly, we root for her because Holly is, you want her to do well. She's got this big voice. She has this big ambition, but mm-hmm. tonally, sometimes she just doesn't. So, no, 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 okay. I was gonna say I we didn't go into the oh, song. Oh, I stand correctly. I was, <laughs> I was gonna go into the song like yeah, she went a little sharp, a flat sometimes okay. within the song with her first song and her second song. But as far as her confidence and her coming out there, she definitely had okay. a lot of that. I agree with you on this that. This is what I love about women: attention to detail. She said, "Uh, uh-uh, uh, we're not talking about notes. We're talking about <laughs> stage presence." So she's yeah, starting stage from the bo- presence. Let okay. me clarify. Okay, yeah. I'll agree. I, I she was confident, and that yes, n- that made her. That made her like a million times better, honestly, oh, yeah, because definitely. she's yeah. usually so shaky, so in her head. Uh-huh. But let's move on to the, since you are, you, you guys are vocalists. <laughs> what you guys think of the vocals? Her vocals? Yes. we. we um, when she started out, up. when she's honestly, I think in Rolling in the Deep, let me see my notes. I said very confident. Um, she stayed in key and I love the acapella part in the beginning. I thought she did, as far as vocally, I thought she did great on that song. Yeah, I think so too. I think overall it was very solid. I love that song. <laughs> <laughs> but the only thing is, like for this song, I think we, we talked about Haley uh, from last year. We talked about her last week, mm-hmm. and she did this song last year, and she just she killed it. And she was she was Haley, Haley who was, was very comfortable and just in vocally perfect. So I'm not saying it it, it was as good as that performance from last year, mm-hmm. but for for Holly. It, it, she definitely threw out everything her everything that was in her head out the window and she came and brought yeah. it today so she was mm-hmm. solid overall i mean it's a it's it, some it's not easy being pitch perfect and you know for for the whole song and and whatnot while she's trying to lose herself in the song so i think overall she was Oh, it was good. It was, it was, yeah. it was passable yeah. for you. Well, well you hated mm-hmm. it. So what did you think? I, okay, I did uh, not <laughs> hate it. I just i i think that you know you, you want to root for her. i've we've always wanted to root for her, but just something 
you know, her confidence was there. Tonally, she wasn't there for me. And I think they played to her strengths, like on the song and the arrangement and whatnot, mm -hmm. that we just wanted to make her shine because they really, you know, she's she's been bashed for weeks yeah. right so they're she's an underdog yeah so they're, they're they're trying to help her out they do that with elise we've talked about that over the last few weeks mm -hmm. they 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 try to you know you know but i feel like it worked for her what's that i feel like it worked for her i think it's for Holly? well yeah the way they've been pushing her and playing mm -hmm. to her strengths with elise i still feel it's like it's kind of failing but for holly mm -hmm. now here's the thing is it too late though for, for, for holly? holly yeah she finally came she brought it i mean she brought it as much as she can bring it, I think. I think that was the max of her bringing it. So, is it too late? I, because, okay, about bringing it, I think, I thought she was better in the second song, Son of a Preacher Man. I thought she was a little really? more confident. I did. I don't know why. It just, I just, uh -huh. the, it I was mean, still I, tonally, it was still, okay. See, and I even, I confident, but would like to see, would I like to see her live? No. I would not see, I would not. That's, you have a she good just point. feels somewhat, she feels absent yeah. up there with that song a little bit. She did a little bit too much walking around i think both performances were pretty much equal as far mm -hmm. you know, so equally I mediocre feel, yeah. is though, that what you're saying I definitely More, feel. better than mediocre <laughs> and she's always got the she wins the the big note she does award she, in the son of the preacher man though she definitely for me like i forgot what 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 part it was but she definitely was kind of going a little sharp yeah, for sure yeah. yeah yeah and i'm surprised the judges didn't call her out on that because if i was randy or steven you know being this you know working with amazing people or being the singer that steven is um i definitely would have called that out and been like you still did a good job but you know what i mean you got to make sure you stay on top of the note you know what i mean being pitch you know well see randy did bring it up actually he did, he did? say he did say it wasn't perfect for me oh yeah he, mm -hmm. did. he did say that so right. i think randy's getting luckily he, nobody's he, perfect true <laughs> <laughs> wow <laughs> getting it everywhere so well maybe let's move on to someone who i used to think was perfect since the beginning let's miss elise and hmm. I'm bringing the hammer down. Okay. I'm telling you, this Do is it. this is the this is gonna be dark. This is gonna be dark. I just she she Philip Phillips the song. And what it, what do you you're giving me this puzzled look? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Philip Phillips. I think that's a good thing. I love Philip Phillips, but these these singers they have uh, I don't want to say they they have limited vocal range. Like let's say Jessica Sanchez, she can and Joshua Ledet, they've mm -hmm. got every trick in the book. Hmm. But it seems like to me it seems like let's say philip phillips and elise have the have this tone about them that's fantastic but they don't really deviate too too far away from it right and then the songs start becoming a little repetitive the singer songwriter type thing that you say connecting with the lyrics mm -hmm. i think they were mm -hmm. talking jimmy was talking about that last last week whether there's a technically good singer where they have the huge range and control and whatnot and then there's a singer songwriter type like philip phillips mm -hmm. i think elise test uh, testone she, you know she's a little bit of both right i just expect so much more for her i don't know she's saying no one uh alicia keys which it seemed like tonight was alicia keys and uh, lady gaga night yeah but um but i don't know I, I know that's a great song and it's a great singer song but i don't know, just it's so overdone if we go karaoke anywhere tonight or tomorrow or the next day we're gonna hear that song mm, especially in hollywood hello yeah. <laughs> <laughs> everybody's coming here to be a singer a dancer actor whatever yes. what, what did you think about it i guess you know maybe we should just group both let's knock out both their songs you know because yeah. we got so right, much to exactly, get to exactly exactly like let's get it on okay i think we disagree because we're watching it together and we're all trying to stay quiet to save uh -huh, it for the show uh -huh. um i do have two different opinions of elisa's songs tonight mm -hmm. no one was not so much for me Mm -hmm. And let's get it on. It sounded like a cat in heat for me. <laughs> really? I am. I yes. I became <laughs> Simon it, tonight. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I know. I think you guys. I, I didn't like her choices. A cat in heat. I didn't like her choices. Hilarious. I'm serious. She. Yeah. Well, was, Randy had a good point. She, he was like saying that she. You know, he was like, well, you obviously don't know. You know, what you sing the best or what you would know sound yourself, best, right? What what he was saying. So. I, yeah, I have to agree with you, though. Um, I definitely felt like no one was okay. Mm -hmm. And let's get on. I felt, honestly, I felt like and let's get it on. It was a little bit better because she was scatting yeah, and doing so like too. a little bit mm -hmm. more runs and stuff. But um, I, just, I don't know. And I also agree with J-Lo. I have to say, I also agree with J-Lo as far as her not living. You know what I mean? I feel mm -hmm. like when you see Jessica or Joshua, they live in that oh, moment. Joshua, and yeah. they, mm -hmm. they they are so confident with each word that they say. Yeah, so connected. It's just so be you believable and they're connected completely. 
you know. I, I, I seriously, I feel I feel like a, a cat in heat You're right now. Yeah. Too. <laughs> See, I'm sweating right now because I'm feeling so passionate about yeah. it, and not because it's 100 degrees in her uh, studio, no. but we love that. Yeah. You know? yeah. I don't. I just I just want so much for Elise because she has that great tone, and I expect something. I, I just know she's gonna she. She can be a great uh, original artist, but the stuff that she's been choosing, I just, I just, I never feel connected with it. No one, even before she started, I just wasn't even interested because I'm like, okay, I know exactly mm -hmm. what's going to happen. And Jimmy said that Elise has a unique problem that she has to literally be perfect mm. on every one of her performances to she's stay out connecting. of the bottom three. She's not yeah. connecting. Or that to bring the up something like her, her, her dog's going to die so that you feel bad. Yeah. And for her, which, I mean, that's sad. So I'm not going to, I'm not saying. Controversy. <laughs> yeah. so, more gosh, controversy. Gosh, so, so are you questioning the, the No, the no, 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 no. I think that's sad. And, and, and no, you know, of course it, it is. Let's bring up the moment course. when, when J-Lo was kind of telling her what she thought mm -hmm. and then about, you know, connecting and showing the emotion when she, when she sings the song and how she doesn't like to show it or doesn't like to, uh, she, she hides her emotion. Even when they talked about the dog thing, she said, I don't want to cry up here, but. Elise was, you know, kind of talked back a little bit, telling her that she did. She, yeah, mm -hmm. she doesn't want to. She didn't feel like that was an acceptable uh, time for her to cry in between talking about her dog. So right. that's why she pulled back. And then she doesn't show as much emotion during the song because she's a little bit in her head and she only has a minute thirty seconds, however long they can sing. And that's why she so, kind of overdid yeah. the Mar. I mean, not overdid it, but, but she possible. was doing a little bit more stuff on the yeah. Marvin Gaye song. Mm -hmm. But I really feel that's what separates a good artist from a great artist like yeah. you have to be able to take a song that's already originally done and make it your own mm -hmm. whatever you choose to do even if she did like um uh, what was the song that she did the second one let's get it on let's get, let's on, get on yeah like even if she did let's get it on and like and like told him to speed it up or do or make it slower or do something like just switch yeah. it up make it different make it your own and do I some think, Colton to it no i think that's why when she did the ah like all the stuff that she was doing it, it, it took away from the song because she didn't make it her own mm -hmm. and the notes mm -hmm. weren't really 100%. Like, it was just kind of like, all right, well, well now we're going to get you on overdoing the song. You so, know what I mean? So she's causing, look, we're, we're going on and on about this. So <laughs> this, it may be trouble for her because I, I bet America's yeah. thinking the same that... Mm. She, she was stuck. She was in her head. She had, yeah. you know, because she's, she's done runs. She does amazing runs. Yeah, I mean, she does have a beautiful voice, oh, that's for but, sure. Maybe the, like she oversang it, I think. So, but let's let's move on to maybe someone else. <laughs> Redemption girl, our girl. I, da, 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 da. Yes. Which one? Jessica, Jessica Sanchez. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, let me just get to it. Get to that it, girl. girl. Being the age that she's at, she's amazing. Like her her vocal ability and her range and uh, her acrobats with what she does, uh, like all that little running and all that stuff. Like, right. She's amazing. She's amazing, but mm -hmm. I do feel for her. Um, sometimes I felt like even in the past, like just watching her, like she definitely had to grow a little bit more because you know on the stage as far as like the stage performance and everything like that mm -hmm. with singing it. But the both of the performance for me tonight, let's just get to it. I felt like she did an amazing job and um, she was really into it and moving and um, yeah. She was she, living. She brought it. She brought yeah, it. And she definitely did. had the coolest stage setups with she the umbrellas did. in the first one with the yeah. red. <laughs> that was. Uh, she like always for, has for like the best. Yeah, always. The she best had the, stage. The yeah, the doors in the per, uh, previous performance with all the doors that were kind of scattered, mm -hmm. and then now with all the umbrellas. I don't know. She's got. I don't know she if this is her dope. vision. <sighs> yeah, she is very. Know. She's very <laughs> mature <laughs> for a sixteen. She's very mature, and she. So, Oh my God, I love her because like off of stage, she's like, uh -huh. but as soon as she gets on that stage, she turns into like a diva. Yeah, professional. A diva. I mean, I guess it has to do with her alter ego or whatever, but like honestly, she turns into like, who's just like, wow, I can't wait to see you develop. Like even more so. Wow, mm -hmm. can you, any you know more development I mean? at 16 and she's She's only six. like, yeah. can you imagine? Like, I don't know, she's going to be phenomenal, but whether you, she wins it or not. Do you think, you know, since she was in Jeopardy last week and we kind of talked about it, that possibly it was... She's so mature that she intimidates the the biggest yep. core of idol voters, which yeah. are young, you know, teen, teen girls. girls. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're a little bit Demog intimidated. Her yeah. demographic is, you know, would most likely be uh, young teen girls, and I feel like if I was at that age, like sixteen, and I was looking at her, I'd be like, "Wow, she's amazing." You know, that's coming from a singer's point of view, mm -hmm. but a lot of girls, you know what I mean? They're just kind of like, "Okay." She's all good. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah. She's too much. Maybe it's too like overwhelming right, yeah. for them. Right. It's too and yeah, overwhelming and, and for them. That, that, uh, like, uh, mm, Pia, Pia syndrome from Pia uh, from last year. Pia Toscano. Yeah. yeah, yeah she, Same thing. You know, and She's she amazing. Was, yeah. She was out by eight or nine, like I think you said. Yeah. Um, so it's just. No, because if you look at YouTube, um, you, you look at their video plays and some of the artists, let's say, let's say Colton, he'll get, he has like one of his songs will have a million hits. 
And for that, in, in that same week, Jessica's had 7 million hits. Really? Wow. It's ridiculous. Uh, and you, you read all the boards and they say, Jessica's impact is more, gl it's a global impact. Like from the Philippines and whatnot, mm -hmm. it's just, she has such a huge fan base and mm -hmm. people right. love that woman. Mm -hmm. So I think, I think she's going to come back with vengeance. That try a little tenderness. Yeah. Oh, amazing. I never heard she, she sings, yeah. <laughs> what, are, what are they called? Oh, JLo Goosey. <laughs> I, I call it gravy. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah gravy. Um, but I've never, I mean, she's, she sings so well every week. I've never heard her sing like that. It was like, I'm here, I'm ready to go. And just, she just digs so deep. Mm -hmm. And man, I, I, she she has to stick around. She has to stick around at least for a while. You're but sounding like the judges. I know. She I like mean, campaigning. We need it. Yeah, exactly. They were Campaign. campaigning hard for her. Got to. But and I, I really like what J Lo said about her. How she plays songs. How she just plays with them because every song she does, she she brings something new to it each time. Okay. She does. And uh, now let's move on. Know. Move on to our uh, our last girl, our little mini mini me Reba McIntyre. Yeah. <laughs> Skylar Lane. Who I okay. love. Yes, he he's had this yeah. this love affair with her from the beginning. He said you you've been calling it for weeks mm -hmm. that she's gonna like, especially the, you know, the last last four weeks. Well, she has that country following, and, and the thing about her, she does have that huge, a uh, huge voice too, and has all that attitude on stage. Right, and she vocally she's amazing too. She's getting better each week and does the runs and everything. Here's the thing about that is, country votes for country. Country girls who would usually, or, you know, girls are usually intimidated by this great, you know, voice or whatever. Country girls will still vote for country girls because they're country. And, you know, she was singing about being country and she did the rendition of Lady Gaga. So, did you guys follow me on that? Did that make sense? <laughs> um, <laughs> those but, that do, uh, yeah, do. Just those looking at me do. like, yeah. <laughs> 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 but, yeah, with her, she's getting better every week. She just goes up there and she just does an amazing job every time. So, I, I, I think, like I've been saying for a while, She's gonna third place. She's got third place wrapped up. You know what it is about her? What's that? She is still fighting. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you can okay, feel that let me give you an example. Um, you know, a great artist like I don't know, like Britney Spears or somebody like that who's been around the block forever, forever. You after time when you get so comfortable, especially when the money starts coming in and you get like you already have the fan base, you get comfortable. Sure. But Skylar is acting like she's just hitting the stage for the first time. Mm hmm. Like, this is the first like time. She's got something to prove. Is that something you could identify with? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Because Definitely. You, you've, you've done reality competitions yourself. I have. I have. It was the Pussycat Dolls Presents Girlicious. And okay. on that show, I was definitely the underdog. And for me, because I come from an athletic background, even though I studied singing and, um, you know, bas I mean, singing and acting and all that stuff, I still struggled as a performer on the show mm -hmm. because I, I just didn't grow up performing on stage. And so on the show, you see my growth, the developing process. And then at the end of the, the show, the finale, I did a good song and it was a great performance. But yeah, I definitely can relate, you can relate. with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. so you and just I was fighting every single song. I was fighting even if the judges did, you know, didn't you know, preferably like what I did or whatever, whatever it was. But I was fighting and you know, got me to the point of winning the show. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? I didn't lose the fight. Right. I, I was like, this is still a show. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna time. be comfortable and be like, mm, eh, sing whatever. No, I'm gonna sing my heart out every single time because this is what I do. This yeah. is what I love to do. Do you think it's because Skylar thinks she doesn't, she feels like she doesn't belong? Like what? I, mean, I think she's trying to win the show. Yeah, <laughs> that's. It is what it is. She's trying to win the show, and she's letting everybody know she's gonna. She's trying to win the show. Right. You no, know what I mean? He brought up a great point because he deep down inside, she's never been acknowledged as the great singer on mm -hmm. the show it's always right. been like jessica or so she's joshua proving herself right every single time and she's a little spitfire and she's not going to take that yeah. and you exactly. said it, that word you said she's <laughs> relatable you related to her you know with her fight young yes. girls that are probably going to relate to her because you're at that stage young teenage girls yes you know of of mm -hmm. approval or whatever you know you, attention from a guy uh, trying to win a spot on the right. cheerleading squad whatever it is that challenge that you have right they're relating to her because they're, they're she's bringing that fight and so will they because of her right and there's only two options in this in the circumstance when you're at that level it's either you go and crumble and cry or you keep fighting and yeah. she does and that that's what she's every... doing she's she yeah. is fighting and there's there's one thing one thing that she does um early on she you could you know she comes out and brings it every week and remember how she was just so she was even a little too crazy on stage we yeah. talked about it was that hurting yeah. her she has controlled that where right. it's like the max just the, just amount of um uncontrollable stuff on stage mm -hmm. and 
it's it's perfect. It's she she controls it so well now, and it doesn't take away from the performance where it kind of did before. So she's growing up on the on the yeah. stage too. She's yeah, that's exactly. She's growing See? up on stage. See, <laughs> growing up. She is. I've eyes. been in that. I've been in those shoes, honey. I have before. So overall, the girls they 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 entertained us. I mean, we've yeah. been we've been going yeah. on and on about them, but. Yeah. Of course, we got to do the, the other sex. Let's turn the corner. Let's turn the sex. Let's talk about, <laughs> usually it's the boys club, but you know, tonight, like we the said, boys. we're joined by a beautiful girl. So <laughs> let's see what you think about the guys. What do you, let's, let's start with our teen heartthrob, Mr. Colton Dixon himself. Colton Dixon. What do you think about him with the pretty hair, the, the funky, the. Yeah, you always add something see. new to his hair. New week, new color. Right. You know. <laughs> I think. Um, Does he make you swoon? <laughs> He's, yes, he's an attractive guy. Um, no, but I think I think he did good. I think he did good, like passable on each song. For me, it wasn't great. Okay, it wasn't great. Um, it also go back. It goes back to the fighting thing. Um, I wasn't really catching that from him. Yeah, he's kind of feeling the vibes. Huh? He's very um. comfortable right now, and I think it's because he has this really strong female fan base, like Jimmy said. So it's just like, well, I know I'm, they're gonna vote for me, type of attitude. So he's picking passive sa aggressive, safe stuff. You're yeah. saying, or he's being too safe. Well, we saw his, I, we saw his yeah. dark side today a little bit with True. bad romance, mm -hmm. um, and uh, I, I, which. It fit him, you know. He's going. He said he's going out of the box for a little bit. Well, I'm going to call you out. I'm going to call you out. You you just gave a look, like because this is your guy. <laughs> yeah. And, <laughs> and I, I think I went high on there too. Yeah, and he's doing. <laughs> and he's doing all right. <laughs> but you were okay. But I I, you're like, uh, yeah. No, tonight was was probably his worst week. Really? He just mm. didn't. I mean, well, Andy got two chances at it, me and they were both mediocre. <laughs> Are those tears, or is that? <laughs> I was born without tear ducts, so oh, I can't yeah. cry. Oh, that's right. So that's yes, right. there we go. Ah, so little. and and <laughs> me saying that she, he had a, it was his worst week. Mm -hmm. It's not saying that he did terrible because he does great every week, but he definitely made each song his own. Mm -hmm. um, they didn't. They didn't like September, but I thought it was. I thought it was good though. I thought it was a cool rendition of it because we're always I used to too. you know groove into the song, right? And um, you know they had to do that classic song. So I don't know. I thought. I thought it was. They're both it. good. They were you both did? good performances. I like, yeah, I like yeah. both of his performances okay. too. Yeah, I th yeah. And I honestly, the thing to say about his voice, which oh, some of these other singers on the show they have it too, but he literally for me he sounds like a record when he sings. Yeah. He doesn't. He doesn't really go off a of pitch. Not really sharp. There's only a few times he has a little stragglies here and there, but mm -hmm. he sounds like he like it's somebody push play and he's singing for me. Nice. Okay. Yeah. I totally disagree with both of you. All. <laughs> oh yeah. We're like, we're <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> no, no. This is what the world made of. <laughs> exactly. No. Uh, agree to disagree. I didn't like September. I just thought there was just too much going on. And you didn't like the leaves on top of the piano? I, that's what I was going to say. Was the leaves, the leaves are falling. Where do they get those leaves? We're not uh, watching <laughs> Lifetime. This is American Idol. If we want home decor, I'd go watch that <laughs> show. <laughs> no, no, no. But September for me, he it was just such a jarring change. I know he he's really good at making it. He's converted me. Mark has converted me throughout the season because I was like, I don't know, Colton. He's like, trust me. Tr and I think he's a rock star. I absolutely do. Yeah. I would see. I would see him. I would go see him. I think he would give you a show. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. He would give you so many different things. But tonight, I I have to. I just don't. Either one of uh, both of his songs <laughs> just didn't. The heat's got me. <laughs> both songs just didn't do it for me. And especially September. There's just that's a classic. And I give him an A for trying to think out of the box. But just sometimes it doesn't work. And for me, it mm -hmm. just didn't. It just felt like limbo. Yeah. yeah the only thing I think hey. about his performances now. When he sits at the piano and does his own rendition of whatever song it is, mm -hmm. it feels like he's doing the same rendition of a new song each time. Does that make sense? Mm, yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's, it like, it's always in, you know, with the stare. Same notes. Yeah, the same notes. Same. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I mean, I guess here's the thing, and we're uh, as human, we we say this a lot. It's like if he's doing the same thing over and over and it's working for him, we're like, oh, but he's doing the same thing over and over. And if he changes it, and it, we're like, oh, yeah, but I liked his original stuff better when he did that. So I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> we're he's good. No, he's, I get what you're saying. He's good. No, you're abso I, yeah. absolutely right. Oh, thank mm -hmm. you. Absolutely I right. I think <laughs> for him, like, I feel like he's a, a comfortable spot. That's what I'm going to say. He's yeah. at a comfortable spot, and you could completely tell he's at a comfortable spot. And That's he's not really doing any far and beyond. I, I don't really know if he actually has a vocal ability to do a bunch of different things things acrobatics or whatever sure. but he definitely is comfortable though yeah you know what i stage. think i think he need he needed this okay mediocre week so the next six weeks he's gonna bring it bring it yeah bring you it know like so so, he, it before. so with that said he's comfortable just like jessica was last week mm -hmm. all right so <laughs> moving but with him it doesn't matter no but remember they he don't a get a save female. right yeah no more saves and and you and no I, and, more saves. and i was i was mistaken because i thought 
they were going to eliminate two people this week, but because of Jermaine. Jermaine's rap sheet, <laughs> they are only eliminating one person. I believe so. I'm almost certain with that. Yeah, yeah. Usually it's two, but I, yeah, since he was he had that arrest record and whatnot, and they didn't uh, they didn't eliminate or they did eliminate two people that week, with Jermaine right. and one of the early I think like Creighton Frakes or someone mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. So they have that oh, extra Creighton. Good old Creighton, yes. Yeah, <laughs> still remember. But speaking mm-hmm. of staying in wheelhouses and whatnot, Mr. Philip Phillips. Your dude. That's been my boy. Man. That's been my boy. I, I'm going to let you start with him because he's your boy. That's, he's my boy. Yep. Okay, I'm bringing the heat this week. I, I can Literally. tell. Literally. <laughs> I, I see the, the If sweat. you're not watching this, yes, I'm sweat sweating. I, I'm bringing that face. <laughs> Woo! Okay, we're bringing the fuck. <laughs> Philip Phillips didn't do it for me, especially on the second song tonight. Absolutely not. I did not like that second song mm. in the midnight hour. It felt like a Vegas show to me, and I love Philip Phillips. I'm, I'm his. You just don't love Vegas. I love Vegas. <laughs> Vegas is hold on. Vegas is overrated. Sorry. Ooh. It is. The opinions expressed by Christina Sayers do not necessarily reflect those of the Afterbus <laughs> TV, JC Ruby, or any else, anyone else on the panel. Let's not get on that tangent. Let's not. I, uh, so you, so you thought Usher was I? I thought Usher. Yeah, I, I like I like the Usher. It's like you said with uh, Colton. They do something spectacular from the beginning that we get used to, and if they keep doing it, then we're like saying, "Well, they keep right. doing the same thing." Right. I loved the Usher, loved the Usher, and I thought the second song was good too. I thought it was it was solid. I don't know. Yeah, I really okay. like the setup that Philip Phillips had with "You Got It Bad." Yeah, when "You Got It Bad" came out, my junior year of high school. I listened to that song. I remember we, I was in, in CAD class. Just we, Well, we can use internet? Cool. And we were just <laughs> downloading it on Napster and um, paying Napster, for it. Napster, wow. And, but I listened to that song over and over and over again. I love that song. Love Usher. Love the music video. So I love this rendition that he did. And he had he had the um, he brought back the sax. Yeah. He had the Dejembe drum, African drum, the another acoustic guitar, yeah. had the cello in there. And I, don't, I just love that, so- uh, that sound for him. I think works. I agree with the passion of that uh-huh. Usher song. And what it makes me say, it says, Ronnie, I want that song, but I don't happen to have it. So what do I got to do? I want to purchase it. So I'm going to go mm-hmm. on Amazon.com. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go on our Amazon link on AfterBuzzTV.com, and I'm going to get that song. Just because I'm hearing it right now, that's what it makes me want right. to do. That's just my yeah. opinion. I actually Ronnie. just did that. <laughs> right? Spot I actually, on, Ron. just bought it on, uh, through oh, AfterBuzzTV. Through then Amazon. The, yeah. Amazon. Uh, Boom. The link. Yeah. Make sure, um, yeah. Make sure, guys, you do that for sure. But... Now with the Usher, great. Yeah. Lo- I lo- I love that. That was one of my favorite uh, Philip Philip performances. Took me back to his his Thriller performance. Ooh. And the second one, you know, he threw he threw the way threw away the guitar. Maybe that's it. And and which I think he had to do. He had to show um, how diverse he is. Uh, diverse he is, and um, so yeah, just I don't know. I, I I thought it was a solid performance. I didn't think it was anything crazy special with the second one, mm-hmm. but. Oh, they brought the horns out, and he just, you know, kind of grooved and awkwardly danced. <laughs> and he's beautifully. What did uh, what did uh, what did Rand or Steven say? Um, brilliant, brilliantly awkward. Brilliantly and, awkward. I love yeah, that. Yeah, that's, nice. that's Philip Phillips. That. In a nutshell, that's him. So I thought, I thought right. overall, Philip Phillips. I thought I loved it. I I like him more well, than you do. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's 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 an interesting switch uh, switch, but. Um, Philip Phillips, hopefully he won't be in trouble because he could be in trouble. Think about it. If he's got a big fan base, but wait, didn't he get um, a standing O for did the first one? For, for the first one, yeah, he got he a standing. Did? O. Okay, he sure so that's- did, and that was they were filling the second one too. The judges. Yeah, they How about it. you? Which one did you did, did you feel both? I felt the Usher one, obviously, because I'm a huge fan of Usher, and right. um, I think he's brilliant. But um, with Philip. Yeah, I was feeling it, especially because it's like, damn, you got a bad, like, man. And for somebody to put the rock type of uh, persona on it, that was amazing. And feel and music. And then also, too, um, the last one, it was okay for me. The last one, um, I think what I was saying before with Philip, I feel like with his vocal um, his vocal ability, he struggles with yelling a lot for me, because especially coming from a vocalist, I and I know like sometimes you know I've been caught on like yelling, like you have to place it in a certain way, you know okay. what I mean, Where, when you're singing. And for me, he he definitely does yell a lot, like but yeah, he I gets away that. with it because mm-hmm. it's like his whole vibe. He has this lazy type of rock vibe thing that he does. Um, but yeah, he definitely as a vocalist, yeah, he definitely does yell a lot. 
Yeah, okay. yeah, I can see, I can see that too. I yeah. didn't really notice that because he doesn't really, now, he doesn't really hit the note. Really, sometimes mm-hmm. he'll just be like, yeah, yeah, like he just, yeah, like he growls, ah, he growls into he'll growl, it. He'll like try to do a lot of different things to try to cover, mask it, mm-hmm. you know. But I mean, he has a great fan base. He got a standing O. Like, obviously, they don't really care. Would you go see him? <laughs> would you go see him in concert? Would, would that be someone you'd go see? Depending sing? on his single, I would. I don't know. I would. Okay. I, I'm not sure if I would. I would and if I did, I would go to After Buzz TV and then go to Amazon and get the tickets for that. Exactly. Very I well totally said. would too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Now, speaking of bringing down the house, Ooh. setting it on fire, yeah. making it <laughs> Joshua Ledet. Uh, he's the truth. He's, he's the, the truth. truth. I'm sorry. Like, I feel like he brings it every single time. He does. He, he, you know, it's really good with him too. He really emotionally is attached to the song, so mm-hmm. he knows when not to overdo it. And like to hold back. Yeah, he definitely like, held for back instance, the, what first, did he do? the first verse of the, oh, both of them, I think. Yeah. With Fantasia's I believe. I believe, yeah. He didn't overdo it. Even and though change he is going to come. The even second though one. he could like hit like a high, high note and like had right. it w- waiting there for a little bit. I don't even I don't know, know how he hit some of those notes. And uh, just like, I, don't even, I didn't even know those notes existed. And he got a standing O. <laughs> Actually, he got two standing O's tonight. Did he get? So, so he's, he, he's standing, standing O's. Colton mm-hmm. still hasn't gotten a standing O, huh? Nope. So I don't know. See, but that's what I'm saying with Colton. He's comfortable. He's really comfortable. Is that what you just said? Colton, yeah, Colton's right? comfortable. Well, he's trying to get that standing O, but Joshua Ledeck gets all these standing O's. Yeah, However, he doesn't, doesn't have the following. So is he... Could they be doing that just to kind of manipulate us into thinking we no, should No, man, really that guy's got from... a crazy voice. Okay. Unbelievable. I mean... As for a singing competition, if this wasn't a popularity contest and we were just all masked and we couldn't even see who was doing what... Like that other he show? He would win. Or just <laughs> like the beginning of the other show, <laughs> yes, like the voice, the yeah. voice, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they well, that's on a that popularity show. contest too, man. Is it really? Yeah, okay. now it is. Now, yeah. with Joshua, he's learned how to control it because in mm-hmm. the first few weeks he was in trouble because he would just over sing songs. He would just Overdo go. It. Yeah. He would kill it. Well, this yeah. week he. And he still took us to church twice tonight. Yes, but he did it in a in a in a good manner this time. He he controlled that restraint. Just and you knew you were just waiting for him to hit you over the head with the hammer with the (laughs) vote with the Joshua Ledetness over us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was almost like we were at his show, his concert. You know what I mean? And he's been on tour for like a month or something. You know what I mean? Now, would you guys be worried? We've talked about this before. Um, what genre can you put him in, though? Would he be? To go- would it be gospel? Who, uh, who was the other guy? The uh, the guy that won the bigger guy from America. Oh, Ruben uh, Stutter. Ruben Stutter. Yeah. What genre was he in? Genre. He was R and B, wasn't he? Just yeah. Like, yeah. But he like, didn't. You know, I mean, they say in the music industry, R and B is coming back. Is it? And yeah. boy groups. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. Uh, they say it's coming back. So Joshua could be up in that R and B. Yeah, maybe it. I think he could do that R and B, and especially. I mean, he he did that performance last week with the Bruno Mars song, which mm-hmm. was the right. most relevant he's been this whole time. I don't see him doing a whole album like that. Mm-hmm. More of a Fantasia type album, or maybe Jennifer Hudson's type style. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay, so then let me ask this question. Okay, you just brought up that he killed Runaway Baby last week by Bruno Mars, and he still landed in the bottom. So what does he have to do? He's mm-hmm. doing everything he can. I yeah. mean, sometimes it's, it's just not enough. To Maybe win it's the, the same thing. They're like, oh yeah, he's definitely gonna make it. So it'll be, I don't even think no. I don't know. No, because he tends to be in the. He's been in yeah. the bottom more than once. Yeah, I think. Uh, and I don't know what it is. I mean, I don't know. Maybe. He's got a. He's got a brilliant voice, but in this competition, that's not all. You need the whole package. Yeah. Nowadays, you need the whole the whole package for American Idol. All right, it's playing the game. Mm-hmm. That's something that at least the game, and Josh can the take game, a few notes from. The game. Yep. Well, let's take a little bit of a break, and when we come back, actually, we're going to spend a few minutes with uh, Christina Sayer. Oh, yeah. Yes, and talk about our top 10 countdown and predictions. Keep it here. After Buzz TV. Hi. I was once like you, a lazy, angry loner whose only joy was watching TV and surfing the net. And like you, after I'd see one of my favorite TV shows, I'd be so excited and have so many questions that I'd actually have to talk to my douchebag co-workers about it at the water cooler. Then I discovered AfterBuzzTV.com. AfterBuzzTV produces after-show webcasts and podcasts for TV series of all kinds, like post-game wrap-up shows for all your favorite TV shows. AfterBuzz TV hosts are industry insiders who break down episodes of shows, take calls from fans, and interview cast and crew from each series with over 60 different after shows from Boardwalk Empire to American Idol to Vampire Diaries to Real Housewives and more. 
Now, after a night of TV, I can ignore my stupid co-workers, who I hate, and go straight to my desk and watch or listen to all my favorite AfterBuzz TV after shows and have all the TV fan interaction I need. Thank you, AfterBuzz TV. AfterBuzz TV. What do you want to buzz about? Back on. And we're back, guys. So not only are we continuing this heat theme on tonight's show, but we're bringing the heat with singer-songwriter, herself christina sayers so yeah christina tell us oh nice little applause christina tell so us sweet. what were your influences and uh, you've been doing this for a while it's probably it's for a while, since yeah. you're a little little little, little christina little, little mini girl christina. yes mm -hmm. so who are your influences <laughs> <laughs> um my influence definitely number one is michael jackson Oh. I love Michael Jackson. And actually, I was just so, my heart was just so going out to him after he passed away because that was like, you know, for me, like growing up, like I never really am starstruck. And I knew that that person, Michael Jackson, was one of the people that I would have been so starstruck by, you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. like I grew up on all his songs, like the, you know, Jackson 5 and like all his stuff. So um, definitely influenced by him. I'm influenced by Aretha Franklin. I'm influenced oh, wow. by Stevie Wonder. Um, a lot of the current people the, of our generation, like Britney Spears, Justin Timberlake, stuff like that. Artists like that, yeah. Okay, so mm -hmm. that, so it's definitely that, like, I want to say, like, the pioneers, the old school soul, like you're old saying, school. Stevie Wonder and mm -hmm. things like this. So, so there's definitely a lot of, like... I, I want to say gravitas in what you in your material, then. right? Yes, so, yes. Gravitas, great. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so, but I I know the fans would love to hear. Just I don't I hate to put you on the spot, but right. of course that means I'm going to. Is <laughs> you could just, just if you wanted to sing us anything or and, and, your favorite song to sing some some of your own stuff if you'd like, but Ooh. whatever you want to share on the After Buzz studio. Well, I love singing At Last. That's one of my favorite songs to sing. I think by Etta James. We, oh, I think we all love Atlas. Ooh. Who wants who wants to hear Christina sing a little bit of uh, Atlas? I do, I do. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. And the crowd does. Too. And the crowd does, and Ronnie <laughs> does, and we give you the floor. Christina, all right, I'll sing a little bit. Atlas. <clears throat> my love has come along. My lonely days are over And life is like a song Oh yeah, yeah At last The skies above are blue My heart was wrapped in clover The night to you yeah oh my <laughs> god i'll give it a yes. yeah. oh, oh, no thanks amazing he was sweating before but i, I just went more i, I swear to god no. <laughs> <laughs> i think i just sweat 10 pounds off just from the heat did you just Wow, Thanks. amazing! You are amazing. Is there is there anything on the horizon coming up? Any any singles? Yes, or anything? yes. Actually, um, my new team is Genius Music. Shout out to Genius Music at Genius Music Live, and um, we just been in production process right now. We have a lot of songs that I've been doing, and for the genre of my music, it's definitely gonna be pop. Um, the reason why I chose pop was because it's so universal and mm -hmm. it hits everybody yeah, and every culture and um, every gen gender and every race and every age. So that's why mm -hmm. I chose to do pop music. And plus, I'm a performer at heart. So um, yeah, we just it's heard just, that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean on the stage. Like I love to yeah. perform and dance and like just live live on stage. You know. So um, that's why I chose pop music. And uh, when can I'm we expect a single? Or? June. June yeah. and we're trying to con we're, we're contemplating on which song um, we're gonna end up going because I'm super picky and I'm like I have I just I can't wait for all my fans which I call them pretty butterflies shout out to all my pretty butterflies um, <laughs> nice. um yeah I, I'm very picky on what I, I'm what I'm gonna choose but I'm so excited for them to hear everything because we have I have oh, such wow. good music it's amazing like I can't wait so definitely there's a wait. little bit of an after buzz exclusive the single drops in June yes. so yeah we can't wait hit it Ronnie Exclusive. There we go. Woo! Expect a single in June. So once yeah. again, thank you so much for bl thank blessing you. our studio and our stage tonight. Thank so you. I had absolutely. a great time. Let's let's move on to a little bit of what we do is our little bit news and notes and whatnot. And let's move with our social media countdown. Let's do it. This is what actually 
basically measures what's trending, which artist is hot on Facebook and Twitter, which usually dictates who goes home. Usually. Stays. Usually. Usually. Last week, Dial mm -hmm. Idol got it right. Mm -hmm. So I'm giving Zab a search one more week. I believe in giving him a second chance. So, <laughs> and and this week, what there's there was there was a huge change from last week, and it's and it all had to do with Jessica. I so, thought it might. Yes, you did. So let's run down. At coming at number seven, we have Elise Testone, who has a total of eighty-one thousand Facebook followers and Twitter followers, which was a, a change of twenty-two percent from last week. So okay, cool. it's a slow She's bump rising, up. Yeah. Coming in at number six, Joshua Ledet. He has a total of eighty-seven thousand. So. It's in it's, the same ballpark. Yeah, huh? they're still in the same ballpark. And that's great that you brought that up because you're going to see a separation coming up here in a second. Holly Kavanaugh with 90,000 followers. So, you nice. know, that's keeping her in. She had a nice spike this week of 17%. You know, it's not, not too bad. But here comes the bigger one. Skylar Lane, our country funk, our little mm, mini Reba. Yeah. She's got 111,000 followers. So she's wow. breaking the six, yep. di six digits now. So right. now the big three. Philip Phillips, our our Bayou Funk, he's got a quarter of a million followers. What? Wow. Yes, See? but he had the smallest gain, and that's what I'm saying that maybe he might. Be that in usually trouble. is what dictated it before. Yes, hmm. she had the, like Jessica had one of the slower bumps last yeah. week. The only thing I'm thinking now is that we're so far into American Idol okay. that maybe it's not about the about the bump anymore because so many people are already invested into them. Okay. So, but you want to get those new followers because that means new voters, right? Right. Unless you're 14 year old girls who will hit the, the, the computer, you know, like, you know, 50 vote, million times. <laughs> exactly. So, I mean, bringing us up to our last two, which is coming at number two, is Jason. Jessica yes. Sanchez. Yeah. yeah, she came in yeah. second, but she had a 50% increase. Wow. She's up to 303,000 followers on both Facebook and Twitter. She nearly doubled in just the last Amazing. week. Wow. I mean, yeah, they really promoted in. that they her needed whole to, finale. Yeah, I, I mean, it was the first time that the judges came up on stage, mm -hmm. right? In the whole but, Yeah, thing. for the save. Yeah, they only, they only get one save, and right. I, it was an obvious decision. I, I mean, uh, yeah. yeah. I kind of wanted to hear her sing the song, though. <laughs> and <laughs> then, them say, then her save at the end. But. Well, did you yeah. notice when she sang that song, if you would have let her sing it, it was bad. It wasn't as good as the. It wasn't the the, really? the BB Chess we're used to. Yeah, that's I right. and, it's and probably I'm, because she's in the bottom. She was, yeah, she's messed up and she's just like, what? What's going Mentally. on? Okay, so how how is that gonna? Let's say how will that play out for a pressure situation for her when if she's down to, maybe between her and someone else. Yeah. Unless if she makes it to the finale. I don't think. I, she I think she'll be more prepared. She'll be more prepared. I think. Okay. Yeah. All right. So time will tell. But coming in at number one, he's been number one all all year long. But wow. the gap has been closed. Last week, Jessica was behind him by 65,000 voters. This week, only 10,000. What? She closed in like... Yes, he's at 314. Sorry. Colton Dixon coming out at number nice. one. 314,000 followers on Facebook and Twitter. So all us 14-year-old girls... Us? Well, that was weird. Yeah, so like, <laughs> okay. yeah. <laughs> I voted for you, Colton. Sorry. Uh, oh so the, America still loves Colton. Hollywood still loves Colton. So it's still his race yeah. to lose. Because if it, 314 compared to 80 or 90... Mm -hmm. That's ridiculous. That's what I'm saying. So in the next few weeks, when it gets down to, let's say, Philip Phillips, Jessica Sanchez, the way this is dictating it, when it's Philip Phillips, Jessica Sanchez, and Colton Dixon, that's when we're going to find out who our American Idol is. Yeah. Mm. But don't forget your girl, Skylar. Yep. She is the little dark She's bringing it. coming up. She's a little spite fire, which actually she should bring us to our predictions. Let's do it. Let's do it. Predictions. And now, our prediction is we need an air conditioner. Yeah. <laughs> I am predicting one next week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. No. Instead of saying who our bottom three are this week, we always like to start with the positive end of things. Yes. That's good. So let's start off. Who was your favorite tonight? My favorite. See, I didn't really Ladies even first. think this out. <laughs> um, Remember. Uh, give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Cue the Jeopardy music, Jeopardy. Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> While we all glance. You can only pick one. Okay. Or two, you're a girl. I'll let it slide. <laughs> It's definitely gonna be a girl. <laughs> oh, not because yeah, whatever. Um, yeah. So I think I know Jessica definitely is my favorite. Jessica, really? Mm -hmm. She's she's your favorite. She's I see her. I see myself in her. Oh, really? Just because of like, yeah, I do. I just feel like she's on this journey and she's so young and like. Is this know. from the competition days? You just yeah, feel that track? Exactly. Yeah, I do. I do. Okay. And um, 
I don't know. I think she's really got something special. You know what I mean? And I feel like she's just I feel like she's, you're just going to see her keep growing and growing and growing yeah. however long she stays on the show. Or just even like after with her. the show, I think. Even after the show, I just feel like she really has something special. And and um, yeah. whoever gets her, it's going to nice. be great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's right. Yeah. A- Akon's the one that brought that to my, uh, to my attention, saying she's going to be a superstar. And I was like, you know, yeah. wow, she is going to be like ridiculous. Yeah. Right. So like ten years. Whew. With that right? said, is she your favorite? Was she your favorite tonight? Oh, too? tonight? Uh, no, <laughs> uh, but uh, no, yeah, she did. She definitely brought it. But I found myself enjoying and smiling throughout all of Skylar's performances. I thought oh. Skylar yeah, overall. Skylar I think really I think good. she she nailed it. And because I just been listening to country like crazy and uh, love that country. Okay. Twang. Twang. What so do you think? What's, what's, what's going on with you in your mind? I agree with one of you, and I'm going to go with Skylar. Jessica. Jessica oh. was my favorite, but now quickly, they're giving us a little bit of the hook. Who are your bottom three? Uh, my bottom three for me is Elise, um, Holly, and Philip. Okay. Ooh. Elise. Elise, Holly, and Philip. Holly, and. Sorry. Well, this is who I th- who's going to be in the bottom three tomorrow. Elise, Holly, and I think Joshua. Sorry. Wow. I'm going to agree once again. With the fair half, I'm nah. going with Holly, Elise, and my boy Philip. What? Yeah, I told you I was bring. I was going to shock you this week. Bringing the heat all yes. night. Who's going home? Who's going home? Elise. Um, Elise. Peace to Elise. Peace to Elise. That makes three. Oh, now, Christine, boy, where baby. can they find you on Twitter? Twitter.com slash Christina Sayers, C-H-R-Y-S-T-I-N-A-S-A-Y-E-R-S. You can find me there or you can go to my fan site, um, Christina Daily dot us or U-S, C-H-R-Y-S-T-I-N-A-D-A-I-L-Y dot U-S. That was a mouthful. <laughs> yeah. Mark, what about you, My buddy? one sound is cool. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, find me on Twitter at Mark E. A L A N. How about you, my man? And you can find me at the Everyday Man at Twitter, and you can find all of us at AfterBuzz TV. And stay tuned if you're watching us live on AfterBuzzTV.com. The girls from Revenge are coming here, and they're bringing the heat too. And until next time, we'll see ya. Holla holla. Good night. Mwah. From Bing.com, executive producers Maria Manunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff. We would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz See you later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal.